Rome, Italy. In the busy streets stands one of the greatest architectural wonders from ancient Roman history, the Pantheon. Its magnificent design is a lasting testimony to the genius of Roman architects and it stands virtually intact nearly 1800 years after it was constructed. The true purpose of the Pantheon remains a mystery. The word Pantheon translates to all gods, so it is believed that it was originally built as a temple to all Roman gods. The Pantheon consists of two principal parts, the porch, which is very classical Greek in presentation, and the circular main building, the rotunda, which is much more Roman in style. Writing in the front side of the Pantheon translates from the Latin, Marcus Agrippa, son of Lucius, having been consul three times, made it. The bronze doors of the Pantheon are over six meters high. The rotunda, built with brick and concrete, was originally faced with white marble to match the porch in appearance. The walls of the rotunda are six meters thick, and to support its enormous weight, relieving arches were built into it. The most fascinating part of the Pantheon is its giant dome. With a diameter of 43 meters, the dome was the largest in the world, and nearly 2,000 years later, it still remains the largest unsupported dome in the world. On top of the dome, there's a famous hole, the oculus, meaning eye in Latin. The oculus distributes the weight of the dome and is the only natural source of light in the interior. The Pantheon was built for wonder and prestige. When Michelangelo first saw the Pantheon in the early 15th century, he proclaimed it of angelic and not human design. Even today, its mathematical design and simple geometry still impress architects and viewers around the world.